Hi guys, we're continuing with corals. So we reached this one, frilly lettuce plate. Frilly lettuce is another ridge like coral whose polyps like marilina are all but invisible. And it can be strikingly fluorescent with green highlights on a brown or cream base color. But it does, often does not adapt well to the average aquarium. Some available species prefer low light and low current environment, while others drive in high light and current conditions found on the reef crest. Scientific name Pectinia lactuca. Lighting 6 to 10. Water MH. Aggressiveness L. Difficulty 10. These ridges will extend in a mature colony, giving it a frilly appearance. Pinkish, ivory color. Pretty. Next, uh, we got antler lettuce. Name is Pactinia alcicornis. And uh, palm lettuce. Name is Pe uh, Pectinia peonia. Pretty cool looking. Does look like a lettuce. Tips are ivory. The rest is greenish um, purple. Velvet corals are have possibly the widest and most inconsistent variety of shapes found on the reefs. Velvet corals form massive boulder-like colonies, plate-like slabs, encrusting sheets, and even delicate branches. There are many variations in color, with common tones of brown, purple, and green commonly occurring, although generally in subdued hues. However, in all species, the polyps are very uniformly small and fuzzy, giving the coral a velvety appearance. This is a non-aggressive coral. It can be difficult to keep, but encrusting and massive varieties are somewhat hardier than the branching type. Um, lighting 8 to 10, or water MH, aggressiveness L, and difficulty is 8. Beautiful, bright purple color. Um, velvet stone is the name given to any of the massive types of velvet coral. The degrees of variation among species is such that almost any shape and color can be possible when purchasing a specimen for the coral. The small soft polyps will identify it, and the lack of jewel-like eyes on the skeleton prefer prevents confusion with massive type jewels. Scientific name Pontipora spongios. It's kind of spongy looking. So then there's the green velvet finger. The branching forms of velvet coral known as velvet finger differ from other branching SPS corals in having rounded ends and a very smooth skeleton Many types of the times the branches are somewhat flattened with a slight anther like appearance. Named Ponti Montipora digitata. Kinda antler like purple velvet finger is Montipora digitata. Look for the smooth, flat, somewhat antler-like branches found in many species of velvet finger. Same idea, except it's purplish pink. And then there's um, like branches and antlers. 
a cool color. Looks like bee color, beets, vegetable. This is the yellow velvet finger in Monte Pora digitata as well. It says velvet finger is very fragile, often damaged in shipping, and tips are easily broken. Under favorable conditions, the broken branches quickly heal. Tips will form new colonies. Same thing in yellow. It's like ivory-ish. Not quite yellow. Okay. And then ruffled coral is ridge or lettuce is a common common in nature in shallow areas usually in high turbidity. It has extremely small polyps. Very beautiful. Looks like a lettuce. Ruffled coral. Um, it has a um, ruffled leaf-like skeleton and a thick mucus coat. It's difficult to keep because exact light and water quality conditions are required. Is typically brown, tan, pink, occasionally lime green with white in their mix. It can appear similar to frilly lettuce, but shows more vertical growth pattern. Name Marilina amplicata, 7 to 10 light, lighting, M to H water, aggressive L, difficulty 10. It's ivory. Uh, shiny tips. The crosshatched ridges help distinguish ruffled coral from similar species. Here's the arrow. Looks pearly color. Those are the ridges. Ruffled. There are like ruffles. Not like the potato chips, but ruffles. Um, okay, and leather corals are one of the many types of soft corals. They're found in lagoons in areas of higher nutrient levels than would be tolerated by stony corals. Reduce turbulence and varying light conditions in nature characterize the ability of these corals to thrive. Reduced turbulence and varying light conditions. Um, and they can be kept under a broad range of water and lighting conditions. Leather corals do not require feedings, but benefit from regular iodine conditions, uh, additions. Excuse me. All of them can be easily propagated by cutting and grafting. Leather corals are capable of producing chemical toxins called terpenoids to defend their nook of the reef. Terpenoids can easily kill neighboring corals, so care must be taken not to place them um, uh, near other species. These substances are most toxic within 8 inches of the coral, but theoretically can be carried all over the tank within 8 inches. Leathers go through regen regenerative stages and where they shrink and appear to be dying will periodically shed a waxy coat to miraculously renew themselves. The material can drift through the tank and harm other coils that it contracts. Toadstools. Huge group of leather coils from genus Sarcophyton 
while commonly available, abundant in nature, they have not been entirely classified. There are some questions as to many actual individual identities. A physical description may be the best way to presently describe some of these corals. Despite being commonly known as mushroom leathers, the overuse of both mushroom and leather led to the decision to use the name toadstool instead. Toadstool seems to be more descriptive and will hopefully eliminate some of the confusion. Um, all types are extremely hardy, corals that tolerate wide variety of conditions. They appear in several colors, most in shade of brown with strong illumination and can go quite large in the aquarium. Lighting 2 to 9, water L to M, aggressive M to H, and difficulty 2, common toadstool mushroom leather trough umbrella. The common toadstool is a frequently available species, will grow very large. It uh, shows common folded shape, characteristic of many leather crawls. Sarcophyton trochilioform. Gold crowned toadstool uh, or golden crowned mushroom is a uh, heavy trunk with a rounded brown cap. Gold polyps extend outward from top during day, giving it a distinct appearance. It's named Sarcophyton alconidae. Golden polyps starting to emerge. It's pretty. It looks like a mushroom. Actually. Golden mushroom. Pin leather toadstool. The pin leather toadstool is a large species, grows rapidly. And the pin like polyps 